Hello and welcome to another Science Vision video. Now in this video we're going to take a very rapid tour through the human digestive system. Now the human digestive system is also known as the alimentary canal and uh, to put it crudely in this video we're going to look at the passage of food from the mouth where it goes in to the anus where it comes out. Okay, So here is the human digestive system. Now what's happening in digestion is that large insoluble molecules are being taken in and what's happening is they're being broken down into smaller soluble particles that can be absorbed into the bloodstream. So digestion is taking large insoluble molecules and breaking them down into smaller soluble particles that can then be absorbed into the bloodstream and then taken all around the body wherever they're needed. That's what digestion is all about and it starts up here in the mouth. Now here, when you take food in, you have mechanical chewing of the food. Also, you've got salivary glands here, and these produce the enzyme amylase. And this breaks down complex polysaccharides into much simpler sugars. The food is then passed down the esophagus, also known as a gullet, and it passes food down here by a process called peristalsis. What's this peristalsis bit? I think we need some information there, don't you? What well, is this peristalsis? Well, this is like um, if you were squeezing a tube of toothpaste. What happens is muscles here contract behind the food. So rings of muscle around the esophagus squeeze. What they're doing is squeezing the food down towards the stomach, okay? Just as you would squeeze a tube of toothpaste, so the muscles in the esophagus squeeze the food down. This is called peristalsis. And this means you can actually swallow, actually standing on your head. So not really a gravitational thing at all is peristalsis. Let's go back to the system. Now, so we come down the esophagus. Here is the stomach. Now the stomach, now more mechanical digestion happens here. Okay, the stomach churns away, it rotates, and it moves food around. Okay, every 90 seconds the food gets churned around here. The stomach produces enzyme protease and also an acid, hydrochloric acid, which kills bacteria and it also provides ideal conditions for protease which is all well and good but if like me you get indigestion that's because you're producing too much of this acid okay so sometimes like me you need medication to prevent the production of too much acid here in the stomach moving down oh before I forget there's a little sphincter here called a pyloric sphincter which controls passage of food into well not the pancreas we'll in a second but the pancreas produces many enzymes including amylase protease and lipase. The pancreas is an amazing little organ full of enzymes, produces those into the, where was it going? That's it, the small intestine, this is where I was going. Let's go back, so the stomach has got a little um, sphincter here, pollock sphincter, takes food into the small intestine. On the way it picks up enzymes from the pancreas. So the small intestine can be over six meters long, imagine that, this is over six meters long here. Now digested food is absorbed in the small intestine into the bloodstream. Now to help it do that, the surface of the small intestine has got lots and lots of very small finger-like projections called villi. Singular is a villus. So here is a villus. Here are villi with lots of them. And look at the diagram of a villus. You find you've got thin surface area so food can be absorbed. Okay. Then you've got blood vessels taking the absorbed food away and lacteal taking away unwanted fats. Okay. Now some people do not have villi in their small intestine and they have a certain condition that means they can't absorb food properly. Now moving down we come to the large intestine. Now as the fibre and other undigested tools pass along the large intestine water is absorbed from it so it becomes more solid. The solid matter then passes out through the rectum to the rectum where it's stored is feces. Now if you've got an infection like diarrhea, the food doesn't have the undigested waste doesn't have enough time to be um for the water to be removed. So what happens is it goes here too quickly, so your your poo basically is very, very runny, isn't it? And that's what happens in diarrhea. The water isn't reabsorbed. So that's a large intestine. Now you take lots of fibre in your diet, it's important to have fibre, because fibre helps the passage of food all the way down, all the way down, down to here. Now something we, we bypass slightly in our in our travels through the system was the liver. Now liver produces a substance known as bile, which is stored in this 
gallbladder substance here and this again is released into the small intestine and bile has two functions. First of all it neutralizes the acid from the stomach producing more alkaline conditions and secondly what happens is it helps to break down. Emulsify means to break down fats. It breaks down large amounts of fat to small droplets to increase their surface area so enzymes can work faster. So emulsification is where bile breaks down fats into smaller droplets so enzymes can work more effectively. Okay, so that was our very rapid tour through the human digestive system. Let's go through it again from mouth, esophagus, stomach, don't forget the pancreas, small intestine, large intestine, liver, gallbladder. Okay, well thanks for watching this science vision video. For more science free science vision videos, visit my site www.sciencevisionvideo.com. Okay, I'll be back with you again very soon.